today god bless you how are you guys doing today i want to give you an update on what's going on with the news here uh so basically with hunter biden um the case is still going through they're still you know picking out that jury and all that and going through that it looks like he will do jail time um well i should say it this way it looks like he's gonna get He's going to be guilt found guilty by the jury unless it's in Delaware, which is a big question mark because there's a bunch of uh, left wing communist socialist, what you want to call them, Democrats in Delaware. It's mainly a blue state. So, you know, their attitude these days with Democrats is kind of like, you know, with well, like in the Trump situation, no matter what, they're just going to be guilty no matter what. Or, you know, in his situation, no matter if we find evidence or not, which we obviously do, you know, he's ca caught filling out an application for a gun while on drugs, self-admitted drug addict in his book, wrote a book about the fact that he admitted he was on drugs, he was a drug addict, his ex-wife of 20 years found crack pipes with him, his ex-girlfriend did, they threw the gun away, they found the gun again, they found coke residue, cocaine, cocaine residue with the gun, um, you know, 14 days after he had the gun, he got rid of the gun 14 days later, so yeah, and basically lied on the application, which is a felony, had a gun, which is a felony. And so there was like three felony charges. Maximum would be 25 years. The bottom line is the Delaware jury, more than likely, because the Democrats are like that this day, even if they find you know proof, they'll just not convict them. So there's a chance that could happen. Hung jury, or it could be a chance he goes to jail, uh, or at least is guilty. Going to jail, eh, I don't know about that. I think the Republicans are trying to come against him, which is good. And they're using this evidence to basically hold against him. More than likely, his, his father, his illegal crooked father, criminal Joe Biden, will definitely release him. No doubt about it. He'll uh, he'll he'll let him go. You know, he'll pardon him. No doubt about it. He's going to pardon him. Um, but that's kind of what's going on with with Hunter Biden. Either way, he'll get pardoned by he'll be pardoned by Joe Biden. But however. Uh, the big problem is is that there's a September 23rd case that's coming against him, and that's when he was sat on the Chinese board and collected millions of dollars, which to me is just straight espionage. Um, and his dad, Joe, got the money. When they called, he received the money. He received the wire transfers. So that's going to be a little hard to convince a jury that you're receiving millions of dollars being on a Chinese board of energy when you know nothing about energy and the drug addict son of a vice president at the time on the Chinese boards collecting millions. Very hard to convince a jury that... What are you doing on a Chinese board? What are you doing collecting millions of dollars? What are you doing accepting phone calls from your father in the middle of these meetings with Russia and China? And then all of a sudden millions are transferred and you don't and you didn't report them as taxes at all. You did not report as income. So that's going on. Benny Gantz officially resigned. Benny Gantz or Gantz, however you want to describe him, is uh, in line with the Israeli. He's, he's part of the Israel Congress. He was running as a, a dual sort of president along with Benjamin Netanyahu. They both were doing half terms on presidency. Benny Gantz has officially resigned. It's good anyway because he's a leftist, communist, uh, Muslim sympathizer. And his whole idea was to complain to Netanyahu all the time and bash Netanyahu in the press and say Netanyahu is not doing enough, which I do believe he's not doing enough. However, his goal is just to come against Netanyahu um, and that for that purpose alone. And his, uh, his anger was that when... When the, the, the Gaza Strip is taken over, you have to, let me just take you back in time. The Gaza Strip was originally established by Israel, okay? Israel established the Gaza Strip. They built the hospitals there and everything else, all the infrastructure and everything else. Then they had the UN monitor it. And of course, naturally, the UN is illegal and crooked and best friends with the Muslims. And so it became all Muslim and they were storing weapons in the hospital and all the schools and all the people's homes, etc. That was what happened as a result of the UN monitoring or managing it. Well, Benny Gantz wants them to take it all over again. Now that Israel is going to destroy it and take it over, their idea was, well, Israel's got it now. They, you know, they defeated Hamas. Let's let... The UN take it over again. That was Benny Gantz's idea. And Netanyahu, obviously, Benjamin Netanyahu strongly disagrees that that's the last thing we want to do is repeat the whole process. You know, the UN has even a better idea. The UN's idea is let's get billions of dollars from the world, rebuild all the UN schools, rebuild the Muslim mosque, give money back to the Muslims, and let them build up their military again so they can strike Israel over again. Great idea. The UN has been crooked from day one. I mean, no wonder majority of the people on are Arabs from different countries supporting it. And the UN is heavy Muslim sympathizers and they don't care about the Christians or Jews. So 
more than likely, that's a good thing that Gons was like gone because he's a waste of time anyway. And he all he wants to do is cease fires when Israel needs to continue to move forward and remove Hamas, remove Hezbollah, and remove Iran. The bottom line is Israel is going to nuke Iran's reactor. They're going to take it out and it, the, war, the weapons will burn for seven years and the tribulation will start and the seven-year peace agreement will get signed, which the entire world's talking about right now. Also, the... Um, Let's see, the French and the German, a lot of countries out there in the Europe right now or don't like the taste of what's going on with the, 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 uh, this and the control that NWO is trying to take over them, control their economies and dictate what they do in pandemic situations and so forth, and they don't like it. So as a result, they're all leaning towards the right, you know, hardcore right conservative Christian leadership in Germany and France and other countries. But what they don't know is the mark is coming. The mark of the beast is coming. The new world order, order controlled by Obama is coming. The control by Pope Francis is coming. It's on the way. The, it's already been established, the beast system. The mark, the mark of the beast is already established. All of it's already established. The only thing that they're delayed on is the Lord is holding them back is we have to be raptured. Before he's revealed, he's taken out of the way. Who's revealing? Obama, the answer Christ. Before Who's taken out of the way? The Holy Spirit, which is in us. So and we... And, we have to be re removed first before the Antichrist can reveal his power to the world and introduce the beast system. And that's when the banks will email you and say, by the way, or text you emergency, by the way, we have your money. It's now digital. All you have to do is go and get the this and get the mark of the beast on your hand or forehead and you'll have no problems accessing your money. And we have a new STG system that the Pope Francis established, which will control you and tell you how to live your life. And whether you have any ability at all to... Um, you know, be free and drive and eat and all these things. Other than that, we'll, they'll be throwing them in cages, controlling them. The robots, AI robots, will come out and control everything. Take your job and absolutely replace you. Mimic your voice and flat out replace you. Um, AOC and the Democrats feel they're going to be arrested when Trump gets in office. They should since they've committed all the crimes. AOC has received several hundred thousand dollars in donation campaigns and has kept it for herself personally. Absolute crook. She's an absolute crook. And she's a communist anyway. She hates America and she thinks America's racist. Well, the only person that racist is her. And the only person that's racist is the Democrats. And that's why they're worried and they should be worried. They've tried to put Trump in jail illegally like they're trying to do now. All these cases over the years. They've had the dossier and all the fake criminal trials. Accuse him of being and sympathizer of Russia and all this continue lies and and they've kept him under investigation for years tried to kill him and now trying to put him in jail and I believe that will be a mistrial with Juan Merchant the illegal Colombian judge that that uh, was appointed by Michael Bloomberg who's a, nothing but a racist communist mayor and they appointed him so the bottom line is, yeah, the Democrats will go to jail. Will Trump use military? Yes, he will to stop the border crisis. Will he go door to door? Yes, I believe he will and bring out and get rid of all the illegals in this country who lie, cheat, and steal will all be in hell and send them back where they belong, which is out of this country. If you go to, go ahead and try and break in Iran and see what happens to you. Go break into China and see what happens to you. Most countries, you'll be killed if you break into illegally. But America, you can just break in and no problem. We'll feed you. Come in with your children. We'll feed your Mexican children or Hispanic children. Whatever it is that comes in illegally, we'll feed you. We'll provide you money, a free laptop, free food, free job, all at the expense of American taxpayers who pay their dollars. And we'll take American job away and we'll give it to you. We'll take American money away and we'll give it to you. No problem. And all these people end up in hell. Whoever, whoever came in this country illegally, lie, cheats, and steals in order to cover that up will end up in hell. If you come in this country illegally, you're breaking the law, you'll end up in hell. It's as simple as that. The, the Bible makes it clear you're supposed to express, you're supposed to protect and respect the crimes of a country. You need to respect them. And if you break them, then that makes you a law-breaking citizen. You're not a citizen, but you become a law-breaking individual who's trying to become a legal citizen. And by that alone, the Lord will put you in hell. And then you're trying to convince other family members to come in on the same predicate predecents, and that will, well, that'll put you in hell quicker than anything. The Lord doesn't tolerate it. Anybody who comes in this country illegally will be in hell 100%. Anybody who lies, cheats, steals for any reason at all, if you say, well, I needed the money, well, that's like telling the Lord you needed money. You robbed a bank because you needed money. He'll put you in hell for that. So anyway, that's kind of the update of what's going on with Israel. There's not going to be a ceasefire. America keeps pushing. It's not going to happen. We know the seven-year peace agreement is getting ready to happen October 2nd on the next feast is when this will happen. The war is continually hot. The Psalm 83 war. Israel will eventually nuke Iran. 
The nukes will go off. Russia's going to nuke Poland. America keeps building up on Poland's border. Putin continues to, he's come against Israel and he continues to demand that America stop building their weapons on the Polish border because he will nuke it, which he will. And China is continually putting pressure surrounding Taiwan, trying to overcome it and overtake it. So you can see where we're at right now. The rapture's coming October 2nd. The wars are heating up. We've got just about three months, three and a half months. As of next week, will be three and a half months. And that's the next feast to be fulfilled. Jesus said this generation will not pass away until all these things are happened, right? Until all these things happen. What are all these things? Seven peace agreements, the seven-year peace agreement, seven seals, seven bowls, and seven trumpets, and all the other things that are supposed to happen. Jesus promised that this generation will not pass away. What generation is he talking about? The 70, if by strength, 80 years mentioned in the book of Psalms. So people live to be 70, if by strength, 80 years. Israel is going to be 76 and a half. That's the fig tree generation from 1948 on. They'll be 76 and a half in October. October is Israel's New Year's Day. New Year's New Year Day. That's generally when people like the Muslims will try to attack Hezbollah. Uh, will try to attack Iran. Will try to attack through its proxies of Hezbollah, Hamas, Houthis, and so forth. Houthis uh, blew up a ship recently. They're trying to stop all the oil, the oil that's coming through, and that of course will also ignite a world war and drive oil prices through the roof and crush the economy along with that. So that's kind of where we're at. God bless you. Um, the rapture is coming soon. Continue to focus on the rapture. Think about the rapture and ask the Lord to continually guide you as we will prepare to go up into heaven and we'll be there for eternity. Don't worry about it. The Lord's with us. He's always protecting us. He's always watching over you. Stand strong. Please help me. If you can send money, I appreciate it. And click on my link, click on my link below, PayPal underneath my videos and send me money. I appreciate it. God bless you.